not found. We will do again snap and find, and we will run the program. We can see that uh, this uh, snap and found passed, and we will try to run the program again. I will start from the beginning. Just going step by step to be sure that robot is doing everything properly. Now the part is found, and we can go back to the menu and to our register. Enter data, and the register nine is equal to one. The part is found. Now I can just conclude that this video demonstrates how to check the part is. Uh, there or not, and how to use that information to create if command to create a, a loop and demonstrate uh, to the uh, user uh, by certain motion and say that part is there or not, and confirm using the, uh, the register uh, if it is one, the part is found, if it is zero, the part is not found. Thank you. a teach pendant program as it is described at the beginning of this video. We'll go to select and then create and I will use for example test. I will type today's date. It's May 26, 2015. Enter, edit. Now we can start creating a program. Because the position of the robot is perfect and from this position robot uh, camera can see the part. I will teach this point right away. And I will just go to shift reset and we can do the point, this point. This will be actually our second point. I will change this number to two. Then above this point we can we can add one more point, which can be any point that we determine in the 3D space. Shift reset, and I will start moving the robot, but I will change coordinate system to the world coordinate system, and I can move the robot in negative, for example, negative x direction, negative x, negative y, I can move in a z positive, and I can create this point, point, enter. This is my first point. Now we are ready to do some vision commands. We'll go to instructions, go to the second page, go down to vision. I'll hit enter and we will do run find. Now we'll hit F4 for choice and we will select the program that we previously created. That's error program. I will hit enter and we don't need any options here. I will go down, go to instructions, second page, number six for vision, hit enter. Then we have to use a command get pass fail. I will hit enter again, choice program that we created and we have to choose the register. I chose register nine, but we can choose any register that we want. And then we have uh, the register nine that, we'll, that we will use uh, to uh, create some if commands, actually to show uh, that part is found or not. If register one returns value one, it means that part is found. If it returns value zero, the part is not found. When we know that, we can use here if command. I will go here to uh, commands and, uh, sorry, instructions, and we will go to if command, we'll hit enter, we'll choose the first case, and we will choose a register here. If register nine has constant which is one, we'll hit enter, which is one, then we will jump to label one. Enter, we will jump to label one. 
enter. Now, otherwise, if the part is not found, we have to jump to label two. We'll go here, jump label, enter. We'll go to uh, jump label two. Enter, and this is label two. Then we have to determine here label one because it's already assigned here. We'll go insert uh, instruction, jump label. We'll just go down to label, and this will be a label one. Now we will teach uh, a point three, which is the point that will give us a sign that part is found. And I'm going back here to the robot, I will choose coordinate system join, and I will just change join five, shift reset, then we'll use join five, let's say positive join five. I will move for a certain value, and when we like the point, I will teach this point using joint motion type, that's point three. Then I will create one more point and change this number to point one, which is our starting point. At the end, we just need to add, add the label, label number two, instruction, go down to jump and label. I will go to label and type two, enter. The program is created, but before we run the program, we'll go to menu, uh, go to data and you can see here uh, register number 9 I'll put number 99 now again we can go back to our program and we can run the program shift reset forward It looks like that part is not found. We'll go back to data. Enter. Data. And the part is not found. I will explain that in the next video.